Hello, welcome to Sunset Studios. My name is Nancy and today we are going to make this very cute fellow, a little dog holding a bone. Um, the rock is pretty crooked, which is why he's sitting funny on my stand. And what I'm going to do is I have made the lines already, but I will go over them to show you how to do the design. And if you look at his head, it's pretty triangular, sort of circular. So I'm gonna go ahead and make his head. My rock has been painted twice. It's pretty smooth, though I will say it's bumpy in the center. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the ears after I do his head. Then I'm gonna continue with his bone sticking out of his mouth. And just a little curve on the sides to get that bone shape. And then the body is really just two lines coming down. You can, you know, if you wanna make them a little thicker, you can make them a little chubbier. Okay, that's the, the basic design. And now I'm going to get my paint ready. Okay, so I have a pale brown paint and I'm actually going to use a thicker brush just because all I'm doing is painting his whole face with this pale brown. If you decided you wanted to do a darker brown or a black for your dog, or if you wanted to make him more, um, you know, more imaginary and wanted to do him purple, whatever you want to do is, of course, fine because you are the artist. Okay, so I like this light light brown for him because I, I do add some spots so they tend to show up nicely and I'm going to just go right into his ears and because the rock is painted white and the bone is white I don't have to go over the bone at all and at the end when I do the outline that's what will make the bone pop out pretty well and the fact that I'm going to do a background color sometimes I leave the background white but on this particular design I think the color and the background looks really nice so um, I have done the orange you know the orange yellow background color as you can see on this rock but I think what I'm going to do on this new rock is I'm gonna do some shades of blue, just for something different. And just to show you that whatever color you like, you know, just try to get three different shades of it. Even two shades will work, or, you know, combine your blues with, um, if you only have one blue, combine it with white, and that way you'll get some different shades. Okay, so. That's my basic first coat, and I'm going to go ahead and add a second coat onto him. Okay, so I have two coats on the dog of the brown, and now I'm going to take my thicker brush, which is right here, and I am going to start on the background. And I'm gonna start with the darker blue, the darkest blue that I have, and I am just gonna Kind of go around his whole body. I'm going to switch to the thinner brush to get um, in tight, but just to get the idea. I'm just using the thick brush just to get the dark blue spread around quickly. And the same on this side. Whatever blue you have lying around your house will work. Doesn't need to be any shade in particular. Okay. So now, just gonna make sure 
that my brush, it still has the blue on it, but now I'm gonna dip it into the next darkest blue I have, which is a pretty bright light blue, as you can see. And I'm just gonna go around and I'm not gonna get too close yet. Just gonna get another shade of blue down. And the paint is still pretty wet and I did not clean off my brush in between. Okay, a little bit in here. Okay, and now with my brush still dirty, I am going to dip into the lightest blue and I'm just gonna kind of go around and get that. And I don't wanna blot anything out. I just wanna kind of get a mix of blues. So, okay, now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna get closer to his body so that I don't have these white spaces and I'll be back. Okay, I've gotten closer to his body and what I've done is really just, I kept going around and I'll just show you even though I feel like I'm pretty well done, you know, and I just took my thin brush and I would just do here and there little bits of different shades of the blue. Then I might go to the lighter blue, you know, without cleaning my brush and just, I will say that they're all going the same direction. You know, I'm starting at the design and going out. Okay, and then I might go back to the darker and throw in a little bit more so that nothing stands out too much. And just like that. And I think that looks pretty cool. And always looks better too when I add my sort of shellac, which um, I actually put on this stuff to make it shiny. Um, it's not exactly a shellac, it's called art resin. And that could be another video if, if I hear from people that you're interested in learning about that. Okay, so for now, I'm ready to go on and do the eyes. And I think I'm gonna use a dark brown, like I did on this rock, and a little black. Oh shoot, <laughs> whoopsie, I got too much black, but that's okay. All right, so I'm gonna do one eye, like that, and I do need his nose in black, so. You know, again, I could have done a pencil line, you know, to draw the shape, but I didn't. And I think it's gonna be okay. All right. That's that. And now cleaning my brush so that I can use the dark brown for his other eye. And his other eye is bigger. At least the, the coloring is bigger. And this is the, the one that I use for little spots of brown, like there, and maybe I'll go up here. Okay, and over here I've made a heart shape. So I think what I'm gonna do is take my pencil and I'm gonna just draw that on. And I'm just gonna turn the rock to make it easier and okay and it's 
kind of a heart shape. And actually, while I'm at it, I'll draw this heart as well, which is there. Okay, and so I will go to my thinner brush. Okay, Let's make sure that's cleaned off. And I'm gonna to start with the dark brown, and I'm gonna do this one first. You don't get the full heart shape because it's kind of going off of his body, but I like that. And there, okay. And then the other one is green. You can obviously use any color you like. I like the green, so I'll just stick with that. But the green is light, so I definitely do need another coat. Actually, having trouble getting that green out, so I think what I'll do is I'll switch to blue. Why not? Something different. And it will match the background. If you wanted, you could have just done it brown, like the other spots. This just is fun. Okay, so that's that. I'm gonna go ahead and do a second coat on the spots and I will be back. Okay, second coats are done. And now it's the stage where we outline and do finishing touches. So I'm gonna start with my thicker paint pen. And I'm just gonna go around his, um, body and around the bone okay and then that's easy I'm gonna keep going right down the side and then finish the bone. Okay, and then under his ear and around the face. And then around his eye and around this heart. Okay. And then instead of um, just going right around the blue heart, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the thinner black paint pen and I'm going to do these little lines around his heart just to make it, it almost looks like stitching that way. And it's just a little different. You definitely don't have to do this. You can just outline this the way we've outlined the other parts. Completely up to you, but that's kind of cute. And then I realize I need a little bit of black I guess I'll just use this. But in his eye, there is a little bit of black. Okay, and then we use our white paint and the back of a paintbrush to make a dot. And I'm gonna make a dot. I think I'll hold this, make it a little easier to see. I'm gonna make a dot right in his eye. And then I'm going to go back and make another dot. <laughs> okay, and then I just wipe off the end of that. And my next step is to take my thin brush 
get a little white paint and I'm just gonna get a little white on his nose okay and I have just like a last step here where I'm gonna take my black thinner paint pen and I'm going to make just a slightly curved line and a few dots for finishing touches. And that is our dog. And you can see how different he looks. And that's something that I love about when you paint rocks is no matter what, even if it's the same person copying a design, they always come out different. You can see this is a much thinner bone that's thicker. His body shape is skinnier. His head shape is a little bit different than this, but they're both adorable. Oh, I know, I forgot one thing. I really like those eyebrows. So I'm gonna do those up high, just like that. And that's it. Our dog friend is done. Thanks for watching. Please give me a thumbs up and share with your friends and subscribe. Take care.